Hi guys, it's Carrie. Hello, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. And I'm trying to figure out how to put myself. How far away to hold the tab tablet so that I can vlog. So guys, I'm getting tired. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. I wanted to do a video on... You guys know lately I'm doing a lot of celebrity crush videos. And I think I'm going to do a... Uh, sorry guys, my mind's going from... An album on YouTube where I can do all my celebrity crush videos in one album. If they're good quality, we can just like pile them all up and you guys can sit back, get a cup of tea, and watch all of them with me. So today, guys, like I said, today's going to be about Vocastity. So first of all, do, let's get into it. If you guys did not know who Vocastity is, do not feel bad. I did not know who he was at 16 either, guys. I'm going all the way back in this video to the beginning of my love for Bo. And guys, when I say love for Bo, it is worse than my thing with Chandler Riggs. I mean, this has been going on since I was 16. If you guys don't know, I actually was a Jonas Brothers fan back in the day. And I actually was a Hanson fan back in the day. I one of the Hanson's youngest fans. The time, I always hit my hand, guys. Ooh, that really hurt. Anyway, guys, hit my finger. Anyway, all the way back, and I remember reading an article on Hanson because I don't think I actually knew who Hanson was on it when I was young. I was only, I was very young when the band started. I was a baby when the band came out, so I really didn't know who they were. So I was reading an article on Hanson, an old article, and they said, what was your biggest fear? And that is when... Isaac said, I don't want to be compared to the Partridge family. I don't want to be Keith Partridge. So I called him from the room, Mom! And she went, what is it? What? I was like, who's Keith Partridge? And she went, Keith Partridge? Where did you hear that name from? I said, an interview I'm, I'm reading. And she was like, character of an old TV show from the 70s. Um... I think my mother was around the same age as David Cassidy, actually. Um, the late David Cassidy was Boo Cassidy's father. And I was like, really? She was like, yeah, like I gotta Google this guy. I Google him, I'm like, he's old. Like, older. Oh, no. I got this point, like, he's cute, but he's older. And then I was re watching other videos and watching probably my first couple YouTube videos of him. And them saying, so David, you have a son. And he said, time, yes, my son is this man or this man old. Look at me, he's a son. Guys, the worst thing I could have done was... Does he have, he has a son. Okay, let's bring up this boy. And the way he was talking about him, guys, you would have thought he was the handsomest boy in the world. Now I'm going to choke on these words. Um, I would choke on this. The time I found him, he had braces, freckles, and no offense, but I love you to pieces, look like a dork. And I was like, this freckle-faced, brace-faced dork is his son. Now guys, I'm not the type to pick on people, but I was like, this is disappointing. But guys, I got him stuck in my head like a bad song. Since I go do Chandler Riggs, I got him stuck in my head like a bad song. And Bo, honey, if you're watching this by any chance, any Bo Cassidy or any anyone related to Bo Cassidy, Bo Cassidy or any of his agents, I'm Bo's biggest fan. Um, I love Bo Cassidy from the bottom of her. Now, I do have a boyfriend, so I didn't like to add that in. But does my boyfriend know about Bo Cassidy? No. Not that I'm aware if he doesn't know. But you know what? He's going to find out today when this video airs. He will find it out today. Guys, back in the day in my young years, I would have gave anything to be Mrs. Cassidy. I wanted Bo. I yearned in the depths of my soul for Bo. Like, it was very weird, guys. I wanted Bo in every angle. I wanted Bo in every way possible. Guys, when I was 18... I decided to Google him again, and he was gorgeous, and I started talking constantly about Bo Cassidy, Bo Cassidy, Bo Cassidy, David Cassidy, Sean Cassidy, all the Cassidys. And my neighbor lady asked me one day, who's still here and still lives here, said to me, well, you talk a lot about David Cassidy and Sean Cassidy, was that up with anything? And I was like, oh yeah, Miss Janet, did you ever see his son? She was like, no. I see it's a gorgeous 19-year-old son, the handsomest boy I've ever seen next to Scandra Keynes. Oh. <laughs> you guys know it's a kid from Narnia who I've you've had a huge crush on since Narnia came out. I said, I don't know which one's handsomer. 
Now, guys, this is why the dorky comment that I made about him being a former brace face, freckle face dork. And I said the same thing about Skander Keynes at the time, too. But anyway, I did the same thing about Skander Keynes when I first discovered him as well. I said, <laughs> Bo Cassidy is a freckle faced dork. <laughs> and guys, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if anybody heard this guy. I wasn't mean to bully him. But anyway, the so called dork, right? Well, I couldn't get this dork out of my mind, right? I'm like, Google on my phone. I'm like, oh my god, he's so handsome. Oh my god, he's so handsome. And I go to dinner table with my dad when I and bust that way. Hey, dad, I want to go with him. He went, what? And I was like, yay. Oh, yeah. And guys, I actually told some stories. I didn't say this in the, the um, Scandor Kane story or the Chandler Riggs one, but I made up a fan fiction story about Bo Cassidy to my, for my friends and uh, forgot to tell them it was fan fiction. I told them the entire story about meeting Bo, hanging out with Bo in his dressing room. Now, guys, I love Bo Cassidy from the bottom of my heart. And when you guys know that I had an infection, I didn't make this video yet, but I had an infection in my jaw in my early 20s that blew up. It started out like this little pimple thing it looked like on the side of my jaw here. Inside my mouth, guys, it was an abscess on a root canal that I had to have done that was botched. I may have talked, I think I told the story in my Scandor Kings video. It all ties in. My face got little and it blew up. Guys, in my darkest hours, they say your demon takes the form of the person you care about the most in your darkest hours. Guys, in my nightmare, I dreamt that my brother was taking me to go meet Bo Cassidy. Because I love him, guys. And right at the time, his dad was performing in New Jersey, and I want to go meet Bo so bad. So in my dream, my brother came <clears throat> to take me to go meet Bo. And I was so happy because I'm really because my brother was taking away, so that's weird. So I did a shower, get dressed, I came out, got my cutie cutie little outfit to go be with Bo, go meet Bo. And I come out, my teddy bear throat slashed. And I'm like, what, what the, 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 what the? And I look over, guys, and there is Bo Cassidy with red shooting eyes. And I said, if you want to come hang out with me, there's a good chance you want something that all the girls seem to want off me. And he said, so if you want that, say goodbye to your teddy. I took a knife out and just slit Fun Shine Bear right down the middle. Guys, I was in like, guys, I was actually crying. I woke up. The funny thing is I woke up crying and in my arms was that same fun shine bear. <laughs> oh, that's like one of my best friends, little girl. Anyway, guys, I also had an earlier dream about Bo when I was sick. I dreamt that I was going to see Bo Cassidy in concert because he's actually a performer too. And after the concert, he took me backstage and we were talking, which has been my dream since I discovered that gorgeous boy. Anyway, guys, um, there's a belief that he likes men, but I don't care what he likes because um, I want him for me. But not, not anymore now because I have my boyfriend, but not before that. Anyway, guys, as I'm talking to him, he tells me the same thing like in my Skander Kane's dream. I'm going to give you a count to three, and then we'll let you win. One. And I'm like, what? He said, you're going to run, and if I catch you, you're dead. And I'm like, oh, we're talking about... And I was kind of joking, and he said, you better start running. So as I'm running, I'm like, well, why would you do this? I'm your biggest fan. Why are you chasing me? And he was like, had like vampire speed. And when he spun around and grabbed me, he said, you lose words I can't repeat on YouTube. And I was like, well, Bo, I'm your biggest fan. Everybody else loves you for your dad's work and your dad's legacy and your grandfather's work and his legacy. But I love you for you. Why would you do this? He said, well, you stinking lousy B word. Bent my head and bit me right in the jaw. And I said to myself, my whole life, I always wanted to be Mrs. Bo Cassidy. And now I'm going to die at his hand. You guys, it was a creepy, really sad dream, but whatever. I had the same exact dream about Skander Kane from Narnia. So <laughs> I was a little obsessed with those two at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, guys. I know my celebrity crush talks aren't the greatest, but guys, also, you know, I don't know if you guys, some of you fans I should probably know, who were David Cassidy fans or know of the late David Cassidy, guys, and his father died, I was sad. I read it on my phone and got upset. I'm not upset, but I was like, no, no, no. It's on TV, breaking news, David Cassidy has died. The Partridge Family star. And I was like, but no, that means no. Because I always said, as long as David's alive... Long as David was alive, my love for Bo was alive, guys. And actually, about a month after I had my root canal, guys, I'm going to play the story. 
David Cass became a town. I was playing with Sims, and all of a sudden I heard that, and I dropped, and my knees crying. Now, my father thought I was still in pain from my surgery, guys. I'm sorry, I was in root canal. The root canal was getting <laughs> It was a tooth being pulled. I had an infection in my jaw. My tooth had to be pulled. My memory is not really good around that time. Anyway, guys, I dropped on my knees crying. I came in and collapsed on my father's lap crying. And he went, are you okay? Do I need to call a doctor? Do I need to take you back to the court? Ambulance? So heck, what do I do? <laughs> and years later, you know, call Taylor. Hey, do you wait? Wait, why did I get you to a doctor? And I'm like, no, bo, bo. I kept going, bo, 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 bo. My dad was like, what? My dad said, are you trying to say bo? I was like, yeah, yeah, bo, bo is coming. Bo, 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 bo coming to town. My dad was like, what? I was like, Bo's coming to town and collapsed. My dad's like, are you ser- are you serious? That boy is coming to town? Guys, let me tell you, I did the same thing. Now when I heard Santa Gates is coming to town, I came over and started going, Santa's coming! I, like, Rat. I did the same thing when the Jonas Brothers came to town. I basically collapsed on my mother. <laughs> when the hand to the I, just, I was just a nut. Anyway, when Skander Kane's I chose the Scander Kane story. I ended up being um, Ben Barnes of Scander Kane's. But anyway, I came in and collapsed on my father and was crying. I was like, oh, duh, 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 duh. he was like, guys, I didn't even react like that when I heard Chandler Riggs was coming to town. I was like, good for him. Uh, he needs to get out of the city. Like, he should not even be in this city. Too young, too handsome to be in this city. <laughs> but when Bo Gassi came to town, I cried and collapsed. I wasn't able to go meet him. And you know what, guys? For my 30th birthday, I wanted to meet Bo. That's been my dream. But you know what, guys? I am just accepting that I am his biggest fan. Now, I heard Bo likes men. But you know what's beautiful about that guy? In my young teenage opinion... When I heard this, that means no other woman would ever take my place as his wife. No other woman would ever be able to call herself his wife. But I do. Still call him my husband. Still show people this is my husband. So I am the first person on earth to probably call Bo Cassidy my husband. But I could jokingly call myself his wife for the rest of my life because he will probably not have a wife. <laughs> so that's what makes it beautiful, is that I get to be his biggest fan for the rest of my life. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this kind of content, a celebrity crush talk. If you do, or if you like my dolls, my makeup, my hair, my piercings, all that good jazz, my normal talks, they will be coming back. from the comment, like, share, subscribe. Go to hit that bell to notify every time I upload. Actually, guys, fun fact, I was never bullied over Bo, which is odd because I've been bullied almost every celebrity crush I've ever had. But bye, guys. I don't think I was. Bye, guys.